Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to show you guys a good way to get Google Calendar set up with Windows 10 from the App Store specifically. So we're going to be using an app called One Calendar, called One Calendar because it's supposed to integrate with all the different services you may be using. So uh, when you load up this application from the Windows 10 Store, uh, it, it'll give you a little prompt to add accounts initially, but if you need to, you can always go to Settings, Accounts, Add Account uh, later on to add additional accounts. And uh, here you choose an account type. This is the same window you see when you first boot the program up. So uh, Gmail right here is going to integrate with the Google Calendar. You can see that it also works with uh, Microsoft Outlook accounts. Um, so that's cool. But let's add a Gmail account here. So in order to do this, I'm going to be typing in my email, of course, paste the password in, and let's see. Yep, you have to allow it. And you check what you want to synchronize. In this case, I want to make sure that the Chris Tutorials YouTube calendar uh, gets synchronized. Um, and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead, hit close here. And you can see that the entry I added in earlier, yup, test, uh, is showing in the calendar. Uh, I would say that one thing you want to be careful of is make sure your times are set properly on your Windows 10, um, updated to whatever time zone you're in because uh, it will put the entries in with reference to the time zone your computer is set to. Um, and just to show the uh, calendar in the Google uh, the Google calendar at calendar.google.com, you can see that I in fact have that entry there and it's synchronized on the Windows 10 app. So that's one calendar. Hope this helps some of you guys out who were trying to get Google Calendar set up as a Windows 10 app. And I will see you guys in my future video content.